Meanwhile, uh, voting was uh, by and large peaceful in the rest of Karbiang Long. Voting took place in as many as 906 polling stations across the hill districts um, amid elaborate security arrangements. Well, a polling was held in 26 council constituencies of Karpiang Long, the results of which will be declared on June 12th. Over 70% polling was registered till 5 p.m. and the final figures are still awaited. All right, now I'm being joined live with our Chief of Bureau, Arindam Das. Uh, so, Arindam, re-polling uh, will be held in the two polling booths uh, where voting was marked by violence. So, any other updates that you have with you at this point in time, Arindam? Yes, uh, we are not getting any official statement as to uh, whether repolling will take place uh, in that particular polling booth where violence broke out. But yes, definitely repolling will be held because all the election related material got vandalized or put on fire by the irate mob there. So definitely repolling will be held. The official uh, announcement will come sometime from now. But uh, let me tell you that uh, by and large, apart from that uh, single incident of violence, uh, uh, the elections of Karbiang Nagantasama Council remain uh, very peaceful. People turned out in large numbers to cast their votes. We have been at the polling booth uh, since early morning, since 6, 6 a.m. in the morning, and we have seen that people were very much enthusiastic about this uh, election, and they came in large numbers to cast their votes. Uh, I can tell you that uh, though we have not got any official figure right now, but uh, around 80% of uh, polling took place uh, for this Karbiang Nagantasama Council election. And right now, I am at a strong room. This is the Difu Government Girls High School, which has been turned into a strong room. Likewise, two more uh, strong rooms have been set in Karbianglong, one in Hamring and the other is in uh, Borjan. So uh, right now, uh, you can see that the returning officials uh, uh, in heavy security cover returning to this uh, strong room and they are depositing the, very, uh, the ballot boxes uh, uh, which uh, were used during the day for the polling process. You can see that uh, these are the uh, returning officers uh, who were at the various uh, polling stations uh, uh, for the election process and right now they are returning with the ballot boxes and they will be submitting and depositing the ballot boxes here in this uh, uh, strong room. Uh, and we have uh, got to know from the administration that a three-layer security arrangement has been made at all the strong rooms, uh, uh, apart from the assembly police personnel, the paramilitary forces are also uh, guarding this uh, strong room. So uh, you can see that uh, the, the uh, polling officials are returning right now to the strong room to deposit the ballot boxes where it will remain in safe custody till 12th of June when the counting will take place. Back to you. Well, Arindam, by when uh, can we get the final per turnout percentage? Yes, we haven't got the official figure right now, but uh, yeah, we are getting from sources that uh, the voter turnout uh, is uh, around 80%. So it is a pretty good percentage of uh, voting turnout uh, uh, for this Caribbean Autonomous Council election. Because uh, as I had mentioned earlier, we have been at the various polling booths uh, since 6 a.m. in the morning. And though the actual voting process started from 7.30 a.m. in the morning and concluded at 4.30, but the people were seen uh, lining up to cast their votes since early morning, since 6 or even before that. So there is great enthusiasm among the people of Karbiang Long for this Karbiang Long Autonomous Council election, which is turning out to be a high-profile election. Right, uh, Arindam, you're right there in Difu, and we can see the visuals that the uh, polling officers are returning back. So Arindam, if possible, can you get some reactions from those pol polling officers, Arindam? Yes, uh, right now, uh, this is the strong room uh, set up in Difu, Government Girls High School. This is the strong room for 10 constituencies for this Karbian uh, Autonomous Council election out of the 26. Likewise, two more strong rooms have been set up, one at Hamren and the other at Borjan. So the, right now, you can see that uh, this place is teeming with people. They are all returning officers, uh, they are all uh, polling agents uh, or the security personnel who were engaged in the polling process and and this process will continue till late in the night because uh, there are many far-flung places and it will take some time for those returning officials uh, to come here to the uh, strong room and deposit uh, the ballot boxes used in the uh, polling process. So right now uh, we have seen that 
these are the uh, uh, returning officials uh, and the security personnel who were uh, engaged in polling stations uh, uh, near the DC area. And there are many more uh, far-flung areas from where the security personnel uh, as well as the returning officials will be uh, coming here and depositing the ballot boxes uh, where it will be kept under safe custody till 12th of June when the counting process will begin.